What's up everybody, Luigi here, back with another Forbidden Siren. Be sure to smash that like for spoopy games. In the last episode of Siren, I got to play as Taman and I escaped some really spooky sewer type area and he actually met up with his parents and I guess it's his parents, I don't know. I thought that was kind of wild that they're still uh, alive and well even after all this crap's been going on, but then I got to play as K. Makino, which made a noble sacrifice I guess to destroy all of Shibito, so that's pretty cool. But now I get to play as Kyoya, and I think I'm in the end game now. So I gotta fight a boss or whatever, and last time I got wrecked, so let's see how I do today. Welcome back, everybody. Mission objective defeat Datasushi. I probably butcher that, but I know the first guy I gotta fight, that's not who it is, so I'm expecting to fight multiple bosses here. Hopefully not, but maybe I can get past this today. Sorry. But I promised Miyako, I, I have to finish it. Now what makes this part so hard is you have this gun, and I hate this gun. You can't see that well out of it. The game's already dark, and it's really like kind of herky-jerky when you're trying to aim it. Um, it's real sensitive. And this part stinks because I gotta take the time to find this guy like that. And then hope he pops out on the, the the right side that I wanted to pop that on, like that, because it makes it easier for me to hit him. And I've got a gnat in here, and it's really irritating me. So if I mess up, I'm just gonna blame it on this gnat. Freaking bug. Really? I wanna say I hit him that first time. Could be wrong. All right, I did that not too bad. And this part's weird because last time he just cut me right down. So I don't think I can use the gun at all at this point. I just got to run. I don't know how anybody would really figure this out. I guess I got lucky last time. But you're supposed to run and then you kind of get like a cut scene and then you have like an item that you can use. Okay, here's my cutscene. I assume you can use it to banish evil, whatever. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. What? The? Okay, what good did that do? I thought it was going to shoot like a fireball in front of me or something. Instead, it made a big swirly cloud of nothingness. Like, why didn't that hurt him or something? He's probably like right behind me or some shit. I don't know, man. Let's try this again, maybe. Come on! There's like a extreme delay with that weapon. I'm like tapping as fast as I can. I don't know what you wanted me to do. Wonderful. All right, I'm at this part where you get this little glowy thing again that doesn't work. So all I know is I've got to create some distance between us and then time it right to where it hits him. I don't know why I can't just shoot like a blast forward. It's something that comes down from the heavens, I guess. I have no idea. This game always has to find the most difficult way to do stuff. So let's try it again. See, I just had to have more distance or something last time. It takes a while to activate. Okay, since I'm still able to play, that means it's not over with yet. That's what I'm guessing. Be nice. I, this game is cruel with checkpoints, but it would be nice for once in this game's life if it would give me a checkpoint right here. Just once. I can't wait any longer. Take this body. The master who brings us paradise. Give me strength.
Alrighty, well. So I gotta fight a gigantic wasp. What was that? It's a pyramid. Uh, where is the... What? I couldn't even see it. It's, is it invisible? Like, I don't see anything, man. Oh! You can see something on this pyramid, though. Like, yeah, like, okay, do I have to use this pyramid? Or something? Did y'all see that? Like, or maybe I'm seeing stuff, I don't know. I want to try to sight jack it. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're so nice. It's probably going to hit me again, whatever. Why does it take so long to tune in? Sometimes this game, like, I can do sight jack and it's like instant, right to the enemies. And then other times I got to, like, tune in for, like, 10 minutes. It's like, come on. I don't have that kind of time. See, he's right on top of me. What do you want me to do? Just aim in the dark? Really? Really? Come on, like, where's your... Is he coming straight at me again? Okay. What, he's back again? Oh, sure, that wouldn't hit me either. If I was right in front of you and you used some spell on me, you wouldn't hit me. No way. There's no way. I can't, like, really tell where he's coming from, like, last second. What kind of boss was that? That was, like, pure luck and will never happen again. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. Like, what was that? I looked all around. I guess that's that to sushi or whatever, but I looked all around. I didn't see anything, right? Nothing was there. On that triangle pyramid thing, I swear you could see, like, a shadow of it, like, flying across or something. So I was thinking maybe I got to, like, turn and try to hit it then. But um, I kept, like, Sight Jack just didn't seem to be working. Like, the way Sight Jack works is you... if for the people that don't know, is you push a button and it goes into like static mode. Then you use a control stick and slowly move it until you tune in to the monster or whatever. And I like circled all around. It's like, come on, give it to me. So that was really weird. But finally when I could see it, I guess he's invisible and he can see you, but you can't see him. And I noticed that girl was showing up uh, when I was doing that. So I guess you're supposed to sight jack, see where he's coming from and then blast him you know, aim the right direction and hope for the best, I guess. All righty. So I guess that's the ending before this ending. This is like the ending that I got before, right here.
If only that gun was that good and had that many bullets. But see, I've got this ending before. And I don't understand. See, I've got that ending before and I just don't understand, like, why it gave the ending to me early when it should have gave it to me at the end. Like, this game bounces around back and forth. It's really weird, but I guess that's what happens before, you know, Kyoya goes crazy and starts taking everything out. All right, so I looked all around, and there's nothing else for me to do except for Kyoya Suda. I guess Mission Objective 2. Okay, so Mission Objective 2 is Decapitate Datasushi, which basically... I do the exact same thing I did before, but this time it wants me to use a sword. That's one thing I don't understand about this game, because they could have just made that into Mission 1. And I could have just went through it, done what I was supposed to do, picked up the sword, then used it to cut him or something. I don't know. <sighs> Gotta do this crap again. Really? Come on, man. And this was fun enough the first time. If I knew which side he would pop out on, that would help a lot. I could probably shoot him while he's running, but I don't know. It seems like it would be kind of hard to do, maybe. Plus, I don't want to waste ammo because it takes forever to reload, and then he might, he might get me. All right, I did that not too bad this time. So now he gets all angry. Everything's the same as normal, except there's a pillar right behind me. So yeah, as you see how these missions work, mission one is one thing, mission two is pretty much the same thing. I noticed some characters in this game, it'll be slightly different, like you go to a different area, maybe a different objective, but sometimes it's basically the same thing. All right, come on, buddy, where you at? Oh, shit. He was too far over, so I figured he would have got me. I didn't want to risk it. It'd be nice if I get him stuck on a pole or something. Sounds like he's like right behind me, I can't tell. And I don't know if I'm actually outrunning him or not. I might be doing this in vain. But I feel like I gotta turn, like... I know I gotta turn all the way around, but I feel like I have to turn farther than what you think you would have to turn. If that makes any sense. I got lucky. I'll take it. Whatever. I'll take it. He hit me, but he still, he still took it himself. So I, I pick up this sword, and I gotta hit this invisible thing. That'll be delightful. Okay, so now I gotta equip the sword and behead him. And I can't wait any longer. I don't know. I'm just gonna be a betting man, but I'm just gonna assume it probably takes three hits too, like the thing. The master who brings us so powers. I'm gonna see if I can cheese this. I'm going to use my little magic donger to like hit him twice and then try to finish him off with a sword. I mean it can't hurt to try. It cannot hurt to try. So I want to use this magic donger <laughs> to hit him twice and then change to my sword. Because if I only do it twice, it's not going to take him out. Because I don't know, man. I figure like a sword would swing slow or something. Like a swing like one of those sticks. See, it takes too long to lock in on him. Okay, now that I locked in on him, it might help me a lot more. Okay, he's directly behind me. I'm going to see if I can just do this. So that's pretty cool. If 
It's too foggy. Like, I can't see where he's at until the last second. All right. Whoops. Don't want to shout. Okay. Now, I want to change to the sword. This is probably going to be problematic. Okay. What are you doing? I wasn't trying to poke. I was wanting to... Oh, you noticed that? It gets some glowy stuff on it. Really? Why are you going to be up my ass for? Oh, why did I lose sight of? Well, he's right here. Let's... Wow. This is going to be wonderful. How come my sight jack's not, you know, calibrated with him no more? I just want to assume he's behind me. Swing. Bada. Swing. Cool. This weapon's the best. Best in the game. This weapon right here. Awesome. But how come my sight jack, like... See, it's not... And he's right on me. Like, how come... I had it tuned in where I could see him, but then it went away. Gosh, I wish he would take a lot longer to swing. I keep thinking he's, like, right behind me. You know what I'm saying? I should be able to just do this and hopefully... <laughs> got him. Oh, man, it's going to take more... More hits. Why couldn't it just been like three hits or something? Or maybe I gotta do three hits with a sword. That'd be lame. This is probably like the worst strategy in the world, but if it works, it works. Wow. But I wanna take the time to like lock in on him where I can see him. But I don't know where he's at because sometimes he'd be right up my butt and it takes too long to sight jack anything. See? I'm trying to hurry, and I'd skip past what I should be doing. There he is there. Swing! Nah, you wouldn't. If I was right in front of you, you wouldn't hit me either. I know Sight Jack makes my glowy thing go away. I think I have to glow to, to get him. It'd be nice if I found that pyramid again. I'm going to swing. <laughs> That's funny, because he's pretty much he's behind you most of the time so chances are you can get lucky like i'm doing but that pyramid thing would help uh, wherever it's at i don't have time to sight jack him though i'm just gonna try doing this i mean it does take 15 minutes for him to swing see he's right there now oh, right now i'm moving slow that's cool wow I want to sight jack you, but you won't let me. You won't give me time. Man, that'd be so cool. If I could just finish him off like that. Here's my pyramid thing. I think you can see him on this or something. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know why that doesn't work. Where you at? Okay. It takes too long to swing it though, man. Okay, is, is that three hits? How long does it take to kill him, man? I fireballed him and now I'm stabbing him? It looks like he moves too fast. Like, I don't... Damn it, dude. Quit sucking me. It's like it takes too long to, like, turn around and swing. Plus, he's invisible, and I can't tell where he's at. Wow. Good job. Awesome. But you can get me, though. I think I was doing better off without the pyramid randomly turn around like 360 and just or whatever 180 come on now why ain't you dead yet my goodness like how many times I gotta hit him I done burned him like a couple times before I started poking him Takes so long to do that, man. Takes so long. 
I know it would be, if I could just take the time to lock in on his location. But see, look, he's always like on top of me. And I can't get it fast enough. I'm just better off doing this. I don't know, man. Guess that's the best way to do it, huh? I wanted to sight jack him so I could see where he's coming from then turn and poke him with a sword, but at the same time, I don't know if that would work because when I use sight jack, the glowy stuff on my sword disappears. But yeah, did you notice that when I use sight jack, the glowy stuff on my sword would disappear? So that's why I didn't want to, you know, try it half the time. Because if even if I did find where he was, I don't know if it would hurt him if it was not glowing or whatever. I mean, I was just assuming it had to glow because why would it fade out and then come back? You know what I'm saying? So that's like the principal, I think, in Mrs. Takato. Even though she's a Shibito, she's still trying to save Harumi. That's crazy. And then Harumi dies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, did she just pass out? What happened? Oh, that's Cayman. <laughs> Professor, it's no time to be playing happy families. Mother. Come on! Father. Okay, so I guess that's like the true ending, I guess. That left me with more questions than answers, I'd say. I'm going to skip the credits just to see if there's uh, another unlock or something, maybe. Well, anyways, guys, I checked the whole little calendar thing here to stage select, and I have nothing left to do except for if I wanted to go back and collect, you know, the collectibles, like find the journals and learn a little bit more about the game as well as I unlock the time attack mode, but I'm not going to do that. But what did y'all think about that end boss? That was crazy. I wanted to use Sight Jack to see where it was, but it was always on top of me until I tried to swing at it and then it was nowhere near me. But every time, like, it would just take too long to lock onto it sometimes. And I don't know how it became unlocked anyway, but... I guess it wouldn't matter because if I was in sight jack mode and I seen him coming from my right, by the time I exited sight jack mode, turned to my right, it would be right up on top of me and my sword wouldn't be glowing anymore because I just used sight jack. So then if I hit it, it would just be a regular sword attack. It probably wouldn't even do damage to it because there's got to be some kind of reason that thing was glowing. But yeah, this has been the longest running series on my channel so far. And I did this for the 9 rev 9 He's a Patreon member. And he really wanted me to play this. And at first, I didn't really like it. I was kind of getting mad at it. But the more I played it, the more I got into it. But also, I feel like in the beginning, the areas were wide open and dark. And you had like a stick for a weapon. And everybody else seemed like they had guns. It seemed like it was like the hardest game I ever played in the beginning. But as time went on, you was in a school or you was in a hospital. And the enemies were just kind of like crawly guys that didn't have guns. So that was a lot easier to deal with than it was with... A whole wide open area with gun guys everywhere that you couldn't see. 
I felt like it was so hard in the beginning, but as I progressed through the game, it got a lot easier. Well, all in all, I think this game's a whole lot of fun. I don't really like the, the combat system. The controls feel a little clunky, and the sight jack can get on my nerves sometimes trying to like lock into somebody when I'm in a hurry, you know? Um, but the story progression is probably the thing I don't like about it the most. I mean, I like the story and stuff. It's pretty cool. I've still got to, you know, to look up some stuff to try to figure out a few things here and there. But, like, everybody has two objectives. Like, mission one, when you beat it, it'll give you a cutscene and take you to somebody's story, you know, like stage or whatever. And then mission objective two with that same character will take you to a different cutscene and a different path. So the story seems to bounce all around, and that can get a bit confusing at times. And I don't know why they couldn't just uh, condense Mission 1 and Mission 2, like, into one level. And another thing that got me with this game, I felt like it was kind of cryptic at times. Like, uh, to unlock other people's levels, you don't just beat a level and unlock someone else's level. That's not how it worked. Um, sometimes you would have to find some random item in the middle of somebody's level, and... When you find that random item, it'll unlock Mission Objective 2 for this person. So it would be like walking in Walmart or whatever, and your mission objective was to walk to the electronics. Well, you go straight to the electronics, boom, you're done. Well, you didn't unlock a so-and-so's Mission Objective 2. It's like, why not? Why didn't you unlock it? Oh, that's because when you do Mission Objective 1, you're supposed to go to electronics, but before you go to the electronics, you're supposed to go pick up some cupcakes. Then once you get those cupcakes, you unlock Mission Objective 2 for this person. Then you can go back, you know, to the end and beat it. And that's just how it works. And some stuff was kind of cryptic. Like, I had to go back and replay a lot of levels just to get items. And a lot of the times, I would just do it off camera and then just kind of break down or tell you guys what I did or what I had to find because I would get to a point and I couldn't go anywhere. And I'm like, what's going on? It's because I didn't find the item. Even though I beat like all the levels, I didn't find an item that I needed to unlock more levels. I just thought I beat the levels and I was done. Nope, you got to find key items too, which made it a little bit more, uh, you know, replayable, I guess. But anyways, guys, I'm done with Siren after 27 years of playing it on my channel. I don't know what's going to take the place of this game. I do know that there's a couple of more uh, Forbidden Siren games. I think there's Forbidden Siren 2 and Blood Curse, there might be something else. I'm not too sure about that, but maybe I'll give them a shot on my channel sometime. I've heard that they're a lot better, so that would be at least worth checking out, even if I only play like a couple levels or something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate all the people that stuck with me from the very beginning. This has been my, my longest running series or whatever, and I'd be able to get these out quicker if I had better internet, but the internet that I have here. I can't get it any better for now, so I just have to make do with what I got. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support, and as always, I will see you in the next one.